Well, we're down here in the South Carolina Low Country, the land of Spanish moss and gentle sea breezes, nice people, and a slow and easy pace of life. It's easy to see why it's become so popular. The locals and newcomers alike really love this coastal cottage architecture. These lovely homes feature big porches and gracious outdoor living spaces. To preserve the cottage look, they pair them with detached garages and carriage houses. Many include the reclaimed porch details and the tin roofs. But the most common element of this cottage style is the exposed rafter tails in the roof overhangs. It really gives a distinctive look. The rafter tails are cut square with the fascia tipped out of plumb. Now this is a two before partial fascia right here with the rafter tails hanging down. But they'll often use a full two bait fascia as well. Look, this looks to be pretty easy, but it actually creates some odd angles on the cornice at the hips. Those angles are not 45 degrees, and it can be a real head scratcher to find the correct ones. This is all left exposed, so they need to look good and fit tight. If you don't know the correct angles and you're just whittling until it fits, it's gonna take you a while. Because this fascia leans out of plumb, the cut on the fascia angles across here and the miters are off of a 45 degree. The common rafter tails are square on the end, but the hip tails are not. They get an odd angle here on the end. Thankfully, we have just the solution for you. This is Reframer's Bible. I wrote this some years ago, and it's got all the information a framer would ever need, including detailing the special angles needed for square cut rafter tails. We're gonna turn over to page 23 where it shows you the cuts or an 812 roof. All right, so here we are, and uh, you'll see how it, it details this out and, and has the drawing here that shows the fascia cut across the wide face of the board and the miter here on the corner. Okay, this is the drawing from Roof Framers Bible, and as you can see, it's got the square cut common tails here. And to get the miters for this fascia, it shows two methods. Number one, you could use the framing square set at 6 and 5 eighths 12, to get the angle across the wide face of the fascia. Or if you want to use a compound miter saw, you could set it to 29 degrees. It would give you that same angle. Now for the miter, you want to use 36 degrees. Now these are the angles and cuts for an 812 hip roof, but Roof Framers Bible gives the correct angles and miters for all the standard pitch hip roofs. Okay, here we have that same drawing. As you remember, we said that the common tail is cut 90 degrees, but this hip tail, as it runs down and hits the back of the fascia, is not square. So to get the correct angle, you'll come down here to this drawing, and you can use the framing square set to 3 and 7 eighths 12, and that'll give you the correct angle across the end of the hip. Or with a compound miter saw, you'd set it to 18 degrees to give you that same angle. Now for the miter for the double cheek cut on the end of the hip tail, you want to use the 36 degree miter that we showed you on the uh, fascia drawing. Now all these cuts are for an 812 hip roof, but Roof Framers Bible gives the correct hip tail and fascia cuts for any standard hip roof pitch. So here on page 48, we've got for the 812 pitch and we've got all our rafter information and down here at the bottom, the information for the square cut rafter tails. So here it shows the, sh the saw cuts used with square cut rafter tails and that's for the fascia cut and also the hip valley tail cut and it will give it to you as a framing square cut here for each of them and also in degrees if you're using a compound miter saw or something. And then here is the miter. Now this is the actual fascia miter and the cheek cuts on the end of the hip rafter tail, and those are both the same at 36 degree angle. So there you have it. When you use the angles and miters from Roof Framers Bible, everything will fit beautifully. Nothing left but to kick back, sit on the porch, and admire your craftsmanship for years to come. So if you get a chance, come on down for a visit. Sit on the dock and throw out a line and enjoy the peaceful life of the low country. Hey guys, don't miss out on our future videos. Hit the subscribe button. And to be sure you see all of our current videos, look at the playlist right here.
Thank you for watching. We'll see you the next time.